I am Javon Scott Bowles, Director of Rugby for the Cayman Islands Rugby Union. So 2011 finished my professional career. Uh, I then went into the coffee industry uh, in Cape Town for, for four years. Um, my wife then also moved to Cape Town um, and she started working for a company. That company then opened an office up in the Cayman Islands. Um, it was a very brief dinner conversation with us. And basically she said that we're moving to the Cayman Islands. I had no idea where it was. Um, I took, she left in May, I arrived here in June and uh, took two weeks off and knocked on the door of the rugby club, spoke to the director of rugby then, Richard Adams. I then had a, a classic uh, second interview with the president on a boat, which was his classic Cayman style. And um, yeah, I got the job, skills skills rugby coach job on, on the Tuesday. And um, I've been progressing ever since through, through that role. And uh, we sit here today in a very, very grateful position. The basic structure was, was all there. It was just about getting the numbers and getting that participation uh, level up. We've definitely put ourselves out there and, and uh, you know, come and try rugby. Um, it's it's a gradual progression of that where before we we were heavily regarded as an expat sport. So we wouldn't necessarily go to certain districts on the island. But now we've, we've definitely gone ahead and said, you know, this is a game for everyone. And it is, it's always been like that. Um, so come and learn and we're more than happy to help you. We want to re-establish the women's game. Back in the day, we had a 15 side for women's rugby. They traveled through the States. Um, they did all the regional tournaments um, that faded out, unfortunately, due to you know people leaving Ireland or you know retiring. And uh, we've now with Mercedes Foy in charge of, of female rugby, that's been rejuvenated um, and the numbers are, are definitely showing. So that is our priority now to ensure that women's rugby is at the, the, f the forefront of our, of our union. With our already established programs, under 19s, men's, sevens and 15s, and our domestic rugby across the board, we want to just increase the competition, uh, the level of competition amongst ourselves and wherever we go. So that's going to take a lot of teamwork. And I think that's, that's the essence of, of what we stand for at the union is that if, it's, if there's no teamwork, we'll never achieve anything by ourselves. The staff can't do it by themselves. And that's why we're so grateful and heavily reliant on all of our volunteers and all of our members at the rugby club. And, you know, we, we try our best to, to keep the fun because that's the most important thing here. If we can keep the, the local rugby enjoyable and then obviously take out a handful of those players and say, right, it's time for you to switch on and, and raise your level of rugby because we're going internationally now. If, uh, if we can keep that, that mixture going, uh, we've got something good job.